Hi, Missy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to try the Mid Journey, which is an AI tool that can help you generate beautiful images just within minutes. And I have seen a lot of examples online. I'm just really curious about how good it is. We're on midjourney.com. I find it's very interesting that you do need to use Discord for their services. So just click on the join the beta button here. And it just takes you to their Discord channel. And since I already have a Discord, I would just accept the invitation and it will just take me to their Discord window and mid journey actually did have a free trial however they no longer offer it so they do have a price plan for it which is at least ten dollars um, per month because here they show you it's a month but that's based on a yearly building cycle so let's go back to the mid journey once you subscribed they will have a newcomer room so you can join. That's actually where you are going to be using to generate those pictures you want. And there are comments you can use or you can see other people have, have been using it. So you can see they all use this tag called forward slash image. Then it will have a prompt where you actually have to describe the picture. Personally, I find it's very, very difficult to just describe what kind of pictures I want you need to actually have a kind of imagination of the end result. And the AI may not give me exactly what I was looking for. But let's see. Uh, I think, you know, let's do something funny. I want to do realistic. So I want a realistic dancing elephant in a fine china teacup. We'll see how it goes. It takes a little while to generate the picture. So it's not actually one click. And you can see this person actually used the reference. So you can take a reference of a picture and it generates a concept art for you. That's what they have done. And they have options. So you can choose which one you like. Also on the quick starter guide, actually, it gives you a description. You button upscale an image, generating a larger version of the selected image and add more details. And then V button, it's like you get a slight variation of the version. And the re-roll actually just like get a new grid of images, just everything new. And you can actually rate them based on how much you like it. And you can save the pictures at the end. Let's see if my work is done or not. It's still waiting. I think they definitely have a lot of requests because I do see this all over the internet. So again, while we are waiting, I did discover a GitHub. Here's the URL where they give you all the keywords you actually can use in Mid Journey. I find it's very, very useful because I'm not a designer out there and doing all the concept arts, doing all the designs all the times. So it actually that gives me details of what each design actually like called, what is our name and what should I be expecting for the end result. Like those are the great references for you. Like if you want to use Mid Journey to get artworks of exactly what kind of things you're looking for, like this is really cool glass morphism it's amazing i kind of want to use it let's see how it goes and neo wow nice those are great pictures let's see if my work is done or not it's still waiting it's still waiting to start i think do you know what if it's a real human probably it takes a longer time so 
I will wait for it. See, I do see this person. It's very professional. They know it's HDR, what's the lens that is, and what ratio. I'm pretty impressed, like how fast people are learning and how quick they're able to get the artwork out. Okay, so this is um, my end result. Let's see. The elephant in the teacups. It's actually pretty good. Like, let's see, let's try the new image effects. See how it actually looks. I also want it to be more colorful. Now I figured out how to use different versions of the mid journey. We can use the version hashtag in the prompt or we can actually change in the settings. See here, this person used it. I will just copy them. <laughs> That's great. I really like the openness of <laughs> this chat room. That's great. Okay, it didn't work. So let's see, maybe I have to trigger the prompt, right? And then paste my message. Okay, now it's requested and it is waiting to start. Let's just look through other people's pictures. And this is pretty realistic. I do find it's very hard to really translate my idea into text and really describes the details because you can see for other people they can even describe here you can see they know the ratio they know the lens and what kind of style i'm not even sure if that's exactly what they wanted at the end and also is pokemon copyrighted can you really use in pokemon in your pictures i'm not sure but here is my result it actually looks pretty good like I'm actually impressed. It looks pretty good. And let's just choose a version. I actually really like the, I don't know, which one do you like more? I think I like the last one. I like how it is brighter. It's actually not exactly what I was expecting, to be honest. I was thinking of like an elephant actually dancing and it's in the teacup, instead of the teacup become an elephant. That's probably like the process of a designer. You have to think outside of the box, provide different variations. And yeah, I think um, it is interesting. And I, I'm not able to get exactly the product I want yet. I think that's another learning process people have to go through, get exactly the result you want. So I will upscale the first one. I like it more. You can just open the picture in the browser here you get a high-res version of it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm impressed with the details. Actually, how long is it going to actually take a designer to get those concept art out, right? But I do feel mid-journey and all those AI tools are, are like my subcontractors and I have to really talk to them, have to learn how to work with them to really make this tool like more efficient. I hope you enjoyed the demo. I really like the app. However, I do see some challenges. It is for sure a new tool we need to learn. I do not know how to exactly talk to the AI properly. I have seen some cheat sheets online. I think that's something people will have to learn eventually. I have seen people using ChatGPT to really communicate with MidJourney. Can AI really replace designers yet? At least not at the moment. So from a developer's perspective, I do still need to export those images to individual items. I may need to make the pictures look certain ways. And for sure, we still need people there to help us export the design concept to actual items we can use in the software or a game. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know is there any other AI tools out there you want me to try and see you in next video. Bye for now.